His special features were intelligence and modesty. Perhaps, in part, that is why the fate of the design bureau at the beginning of the way was not easy. Inspired by the flight of the duck on, having learned from Zukovsky and worked with Tupolev, Pavel Suhoi created his design handwriting, which is still drawn in the sky figure of aerobatics fighter Suhoi. Today, at the helm, modern heroes who preserve the traditions of superiority in the air. At the heart of the team has always been a balance, and there is a balance between the older generation and the youth. The older generation is traditionally the bearers of the knowledge experience of the engineering school. The younger generation is the energetic vanguard that moves any technical ideas forward, mutual understanding, mutual teams that exist together. Specialists of different ages, she's in traditions in particular, as in dry, because traditions were always present in my teachers. I was given a covenant to keep them, and I'm trying to do that now. The first aircraft that began to wear the Mark Suem was not a fighter Stalin's mission multi-role aircraft bomber attack aircraft reconnaissance. About 900 serial Su-2 were released, which fought in the Great Patriotic War, then appeared fighters Su-Odin and Su-3, and at the Su-6 and Su-8 lighthouses. Not all aircraft became combat units in the ranks of the army, but it was thanks to these projects that OKB accumulated invaluable experience. The Cold War heyday of jet aviation, a team led by Sukhoi, creates a frontline fighter with a swept wing and a fighter interceptor T3 with a triangular wing with a single became the first of the Soviet aircraft to reach a speed of Mach 2 and was launched into series under the designation Su-7. On its basis developed fighter bomber Su-7B, which has been released more than 1,700. The T-3 served as a prototype for the Su-9 and Su-11 serial interceptors, of which more than 1,100 units were produced. During this period of time, KB Sukhoi actively developed. Since its second formation, the number of employees increased four times. New workshops were built. Experimental production was developed. A new laboratory bench was introduced. Based on the basis of the Su-7 was created fighter bomber Su-17, which became the first in the SSSSR aircraft with variable sweep of the wing. It was produced serially in various modifications for more than 20 years. In 1960, at the request of the Air Force, work began on the modernization of Su-11. To place in the bow of the fuselage more powerful RLS, it was decided to move to the version of the aircraft with side air intakes. One prototype was raised by the chief pilot of the Sukhoi Design Bureau test pilot Vladimir Ilyushin, the son of the famous aircraft designer. The aircraft complex was adopted under the name Su-15. The fate of the future basis of the strike power of the Soviet Army Su-24 began as a modernization of the Su-15 aircraft. The crew of the car is two people, pilot and navigator. Operator for the first time in SSSR for machines of this class, a cabin layout was proposed with crew placement according to the landing scheme next to the Su-24 provided round the clock and all weather use. At the same time, Mukaba Sukhoi began work on the creation of a long-range supersonic missile carrier T-4 Sotka, as the developers called it, was a unique aircraft. The design speed of 3 200 km and the flight altitude of 17,000 meters should provide a significant reduction in vulnerability to air defense systems abroad. It was called the Russian miracle. The problem was the creation of the design itself and the selection of materials that could ensure operation during a long flight at a speed of Mach 3 and high temperatures. The main materials of the airframe are titanium and steel. Previously in such volumes not used in aviation tests took two years reached a speed of one whole 36 hundredths of Mach at an altitude of 12,000 meters. It was still a project, but a project ahead of its time. This was a unique project for Sukhoi's leadership. More than 200 inventions were created in UKB alone. Taking into account cooperation, more than 600 aircraft systems, the aircraft design was created for the first time. It was for him. It was a unique technical foundation. This reserve is used to some extent in fifth-generation aircraft. 
initiatively created in UKB famous Grach attack aircraft Su-25 was intended to support troops directly over the battlefield and was designed as extremely easy to operate high combat survivability ensured by armored cockpit and explosion, safety of fuel tanks, layout and redundancy of main systems. Final. Record of the design activities of Pavel Osipovich Sukhoi Su-27 fighter. Here is the documentary evidence. Drawing. One of the potential directions for the future 27 under the general designer's vision holds considerable complexity and insight. Development was underway. The triumphant machines laid the foundation for future advancements, showcasing practical superiority in aerial combat scenarios. What is the difference between dry aircraft today? This groundbreaking aircraft designed with an integral aerodynamic layout, integrated roles for both the structure and the fuselage. This was the embodiment of forward-thinking design. This unique attribute enabled the aircraft to achieve unparalleled aerodynamic advantages against its rivals. The Su-127 pioneered revolutionary supermaneuverability features for the first time. which also became the calling card of the Su-27 aircraft. I am, as it were, dry, performed by our legendary pilot, Viktor Georgievich Pugachev, Cobra Pugachev. Most importantly, time has confirmed the correctness of the solutions laid down because it has become the basic platform for a huge number of modifications. The Su-27 platform evolved into the foundation of a cutting-edge family of Su aircraft, currently safeguarding the interests of the motherland in active service.